Good day and welcome to Mzansi in 2 minutes. Today, the 30th of August 2020 has been a hectic one. With Operation Tudula protesting outside Kalafong Hospital, denying illegal immigrants access to it, they are saying it must be reserved for locals. The protest has been quietly going on for the last three weeks. It has been put back in the spotlight by the recent viral video featuring MEC Dr. Popi Ramatoba. There have been unconfirmed reports of dark-skinned vendor people being denied access which to me sounds like the SA media stoking tribalism fires with outdated stereotypes. Meanwhile, Patriotic Alliance President Gaten McKenzie had an interview on ENCA where he reaffirmed his stance on putting South Africans first in the public health sector. Let's have a listen. If there's a South African and a Zimbabwean is on oxygen and here's a South African citizen born and bred in South Africa, I will turn that off as a leader. And you, you will allow them to die? You would willingly kill an illegal foreigner to save a South African? That's what you're saying to me this morning? So what you are actually saying is that a uh, South African must die in their own country and illegal foreigner must live. That's basically what you say. I am saying the opposite. Me and you are saying the same thing. You just choose which one should die and which one should not. I choose the South African to live. Emma Khanyan, is this white ENCA journalist saying he wants foreigners' lives to be put ahead of South Africans? I don't know about you guys, but black and colored South Africans make up the vast majority of people who use public health care. It makes one think why this journalist would publicly insinuate that he values the lives of foreigners over black and colored South Africans. Or am I reading it the wrong way? Please comment below. Please guys, be the first to subscribe to us and hit the like button pretty please. And until next time.